series of smash and grabs targeting smoke shops and vape products right now under investigation. Police are looking for thieves who targeted two smoke shops and a gas station overnight. The burglaries happened in Newington, Weathersfield, and Bristol. Pinpoint News Tracker shows us those three locations. Tonight, Channel 3 Hartford Bureau Chief Egg Lal is live at the Sunoco gas station in Bristol with more on what happened here. Aya? Hi, Mark and Aaron. Well, it was around 4 o'clock in the morning when thieves broke into this gas station behind me here. They stole everything from vape products to cash from the register, even candy. This surveillance footage shows the moments three suspects broke into the Sunoco gas station on Farmington Avenue in Bristol overnight. We normally do not have a problem over here. Rashid Sharwani has owned the gas station since 2001. This is a uh, shock for us too because we're not used to it over here. The thieves used a bundle of firewood to shatter the glass door and get inside of the building. When I drove here and saw all the glass and the police officers here, I just um, was pretty shocked. I mean, it doesn't happen very often. Once the thieves broke into the gas station around 4 in the morning, they took money from the register, vape products, and more. They also, funnily enough, took uh, some candy uh, nerds, gummy clusters, and some power aids. Very strange, but definitely the vapes was their main target. The owner estimates between the products stolen and the cost to fix the door, thieves caused between four to five thousand dollars in damage. This gas station was one of three businesses in Hartford County targeted overnight. The Cloud Nine smoke shop in Newington on New Britain Avenue was burglarized for the second time this month. And in Weathersfield, thieves broke into the vape runner shop on the Silas Dean Highway. Back in Bristol, Rashid Sharwani says he's grateful nobody was hurt. As long as it's not a uh, violent, as long as not, nobody gets hurt, mm -hmm. everything else is replaceable. And at this point, police have not confirmed yet if all three burglaries are in fact connected. Anyone with any information should contact police. Live in Bristol, Aglan, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. Hey, thank